you are about to experience an award show. A show not only of shiny plaques and loud applause, but of teamwork and commitment. It is a testament to the power of experience modification factors, timely claim reporting, and return to work rates. A place where positivity and participation are cause for accolades and high fives. This is the award show of safety and wellness. It is a celebration we call the Permazone. You're looking at the geographical center of New York State. 661 square miles of craft beverages, Oz fandom, and boxing greatness. It's a rural majesty with the name befitting the nation's fourth president. Charming, yes. Friendly, indeed. But a shocking secret lies within this county's periphery. Sit back and watch as this tale of unexpected pioneers unfolds into the Permazone. Madison County is at the heart of central New York. With 25 picturesque towns and villages, one city, three colleges, and an endless supply of natural beauty, it's no wonder it was once home to a 19th century utopian community. But this beautiful county is more than the perfect place to unwind. It's also an innovator in health and safety practices and the winner of PERMA's NYSAC Pioneer Award. It's the fourth PERMA accolade for Madison County, having previously received New Member Achievement and Wellness in the Workplace Awards, as well as the Kenneth Herman Senior Memorial Risk Management Award. What makes this member such a PERMA favorite? A proactive safety culture and an unwavering commitment to best practices. According to Sean Prevo, Labor Relations Specialist, the county makes a very concerted effort to research best practices from around the county and then implement the results at home. It's an essential part of Madison County's commitment to be at the forefront of safety. And it's a plan that's worked. Madison County was an early adopter of comprehensive electronic safety training and the first PERMA member to implement electronic databases for its material safety data sheets. What this program is, is a 24 seven access to over 9 million MSDS or SDS data sheets to get rid of the old paper copies that we may have had in a binder that could take um, 10, 15 minutes to cipher through to get to it. This allows any employee at the county with internet access or on a smartphone to have instant access to the sheet. So for example, if we knew that someone had received a spill into their eyes of Clorox, we can type in Clorox, and if we know which one it is, we click on it, and we instantly have uh, access to the SDS sheet. Enables the, to quickly identify what should be done in case of an exposure. Since its implementation, Madison County has seen an uptick in the number of sheets added to the database and a positive effect on compliance. But most importantly, it has provided employees with peace of mind, knowing that the county is looking out for their best interests. In fact, the county's commitment to employee safety can easily be measured by its consistently low experience modification factor and return to work rates. In addition to their electronic initiatives, Madison County also conducts biannual safety audits of all its facilities, as well as field safety audits of the highway and solid waste departments. Regular safety committee meetings comprised of employees, supervisors, management, and a PERMA-contracted safety consultant facilitate dialogue and promote education, providing a critical forum for open communication. Because employees feel comfortable bringing up safety issues, this county is able to think proactively. In one safety committee meeting, employees expressed concern with the county's tree crew working in close proximity to power lines. As a result of the open discussion, the county implemented a PERMA-contracted week-long training session. This experience not only provided the tree crew with additional safety skills, it also earned each of them a Line Clearance Arborist Certification, a unique designation within the public sector. We've had to use a crane today to pick most of the material over the wires here. It was the safest, most efficient manner. 
we've signed up with ACRT in their uh, electrical hazard program, and we've successfully completed that to qualify us to remove the trees and work around the lines within two foot five inches of the lines. Assistance with training coordination is one of the many reasons Madison County has long considered PERMA an important safety partner. But PERMA isn't their only safety advocate. County leadership provides invaluable financial and visionary support, allowing their team to stay ahead of the curve and become a sought out example of safety innovation. It's Madison County's commitment to thinking differently and making positive change that have earned them this year's NISAC Pioneer Award. Respectfully submitted for your perusal, a tale of seven schools, four elementary, one middle, one high, and one alternative K through 12. To the outside world, these edifices of education may seem quite different, but you'll soon see they share many secrets, including a devout allegiance to the Panthera tigris and an unusual liking for orange and black. What's happening inside the district of indoctrination? And why do so many consider them pioneers of positivity? Because the answer may not be as simple as one plus one, we ask you to step inside the Permazone. Hands-on leadership, shared values, and a commitment to anticipating challenges before they arrive. That's the approach to health and safety that sets Union Endicott Central School District apart and what makes it the winner of this year's NISBA Pioneer Award. Spanning 50 square miles across the townships of Union and Owego in central New York, Union Endicott Central School District is a PERMA member with a passion for positivity. Led by its superintendent, Dr. Susan McLeod, this district of approximately 3,900 students is getting high marks for its proactive and strategic thinking. According to Larry Dake, Assistant Superintendent for Personnel and Secondary Education, Dr. McLeod's leadership is key to the district's success. To gain a better understanding of issues within the district, the superintendent and her assistants work very closely with various stakeholders, including their BOCES safety specialist, head groundsmen, and school custodians. This communication has helped Union Endicott grow as a community with shared values. Here in the gymnasium, we check um, the exiting. I make sure all the doors push open easily so that even a small child could do it. I check the electronic partitions, make sure that they're inspected annually. All the exit signs, making sure they're lit. We have to make sure that everyone can exit the building safely, quickly, smoothly, and have plans and have knowledge of where they go once they get out the door. Before school begins in September, the BOCES specialist provides training to all staff in hazards communications and slips, trips, and falls. Additionally, she performs updates for new hires during the school year and provides a spring refresher training. The district also conducts regular fire, lockdown, and evacuation drills and is mindful to assess school district safety plans, policies, and procedures. The shift to PERMA came in 2014 with Union Endicott needing to better manage their workers' compensation claims. The district was looking for help to bring down ratings and help with strategic thinking to reconsider how it approached safety and workers' compensation. An example of one improvement can be found at the district's high school. To ensure students and faculty could arrive and depart the school without a misstep, five feet of sidewalk was added between the school's new parking lot and an existing landing, allowing for a safer transition between the two areas. At the George F. Johnson Elementary School, 15 buses vying for a very small amount of drop-off space used to cause unavoidable morning traffic. To help alleviate congestion on the busy main road, two bus lengths of concrete curbing were added to the front of the school. The result? Students arrive to school safer and local drivers navigate the area more easily. Union Endicott School District thinks beyond everyday safety operations 
including the construction of a flood wall in 2006. That was a, predicted to be a one in every 500 year flood and five years later we had another one. So the flood wall was instrumental in keeping a lot of the water out of the building in 2011. So that's a key part of keeping our building safe from the floodwaters of the Susquehanna River, which is just behind us here. Other recent projects include the installation of a new walkway between two buildings and the addition of protective fencing around one of the school's playgrounds to keep children and staff safely away from parking lot activity. Strategic, proactive, responsive, and involved. Four words that accurately describe the Union Endicott Central School District's consistent and pragmatic approach to health and safety. What you're looking at is 1.7 square miles, a minuscule distance in the scale of our infinite universe. But don't be fooled. The village that occupies this small space is of huge consequence to our story. It's a tale of risk and the factors that ultimately lead to a loss. A loss we can only describe as dramatic. A loss we can only find in the permazone. The Most Improved Experience Modification Factor Award is presented to the PERMA member with the largest reduction in experience modification factor between the 2015 and 2016 policy years. Although it's a complex calculation, identifying this year's winner was a simple task. Located on the banks of the Mohawk River in Schenectady County, the little village of Scotia makes safety and wellness a big priority. A member for over two decades, the village considers PERMA its number one partner in safety and resources. It's a focus embraced by Scotia's entire leadership team. In addition to regularly attending conferences and regional trainings, leadership also welcome PERMA into their community, inviting representatives to attend safety meetings, requesting physical hazard audits, and participating in claim investigation. The village's clerk and treasurer, Maria Schmitz, has been an active member of the PERMA Safety Council for more than a decade. PERMA's Online Safety Institute is a requirement for all employees. Department leadership ensures best practices are consistently adhered to across the entire workforce. With only 60 employees, most of whom are residents, the commitment to safety is tangible to the entire Scotia community. Examples of this safety culture can be found everywhere. Education, training, and policy have resulted in safer conditions for both the village's public works and fire departments. And thanks to Police Chief Pete Frizzoni, all of Scotia's crossing guards have attended PERMA's crossing guard training. All in all, safety is an investment that reflects positively on the services and value that Scotia's residents receive. Scotia's EMF dropped 25.6% from 2015 to 2016, a dramatic decrease, but one consistent with the village's safety culture. The village recognizes that a safe workplace starts with healthy employees, including training and wellness fairs. Mayor Chris Kastberg attributes consistency and respect with garnering employee buy-in a critical outcome that has led to impressive results. So each day in the police department, before officers start the shift, they go through a whole uh, routine. It starts in the station uh, with checking in what, what the previous shift had done, looking through the logbook. It continues before they go on the road. There's a full process going through the car to make sure the car is operational, all the safety features in the car are operational, and uh, everything's up to snuff before they even hit the road. The mayor's advice to other communities wanting to make a difference? Make an effort and be patient. Once you develop a program for wellness and safety, stick with it. You might not see a benefit overnight, but over a period of time, you will get buy-in and reap results. It's great advice like this and hard-earned results that make the Village of Scotia this year's Most Improved Experience Modification Factor Award winner. The numeral three, 
perhaps the most mysterious and complex of all modern symbols. In mathematics, it is the first odd number. In science, the atomic number of lithium. And in religion, it is the number of the divine. But in the county of Orange, the number three becomes something of a threat, a triple threat, if you will, that can only be truly understood when you step inside the Perma Zone. Timely claim reporting, best return to work rate, and improved experience modification factor. Which member scored the highest in all three areas? The Goodwill Fire District, this year's winner of the Triple Threat Award. Located in the town of Newburgh in Orange County, the Goodwill Fire District is a 100% volunteer department. Driven by a passion for serving the community, the district's 45 active members respond to approximately 250 calls a year in a three-mile area. Self-described as really good at record-keeping, Goodwill has maintained an exceptional record of timely claim reporting. Over the past three years, they've met PERMA's 10-day report filing limit for every claim. In doing so, the district helps ensure prompt medical treatment and payment of benefits. All of Goodwill's claims over the past three years have had a return to work rate of seven days or less, achieving PERMA's best return to work rate. And the district's experience modification factor has remained steady with a slight decline since 2011. The Goodwill Fire District attributes their triple threat achievement to a strong safety culture. The object of this drill is to get dressed as quickly as possible. It's a muscle memory trick. When the tones go off and you're rushing in here, your adrenaline's flowing, you want to be able to put your gear on as quickly and accurately as possible. Believing safer members mean a safer community, the department adheres to a number of steadfast policies. All members receive a yearly physical to ensure good health. Injured personnel are immediately put on inactive status until cleared by the district's physician. Safety practices, such as two people on a hose line, are consistently followed, and the department always works as a team, meaning no one goes into a situation by themselves. Today's drill, what we're the district also invests in significant training and education. From proper gear usage to ladder safety, all volunteers receive the same training as professional firefighters. Representatives are regularly sent to the PERMA Annual Conference for continuing education and exposure to the latest safety and equipment innovations. Additionally, Goodwill offers a wellness program, conducts all required regulatory training, and maintains a safe fleet and facility. Community education is very important to the district. To teach residents of all ages about fire prevention and safe practices, the department uses a safety trailer that resembles the interior of a home. Utilizing a smoke machine to simulate a house fire, the department demonstrates proper evacuation, establishing a meeting place, and calling 911. This realistic presentation is shared with various community groups, including local schools and scouting groups. Thanks to fire prevention efforts, the community has had very few structural fires. Goodwill loans the trailer out to other districts to spread their message of fire safety to as many people as possible. A commitment to people, process, and prevention, paired with indisputable passion, makes the Goodwill Fire Department a winning member. PERMA applauds their comprehensive efforts and proudly awards them this year's Triple Threat Award. Portrait of a leader. Meet Mr. Mark Vineski, a thoughtful fellow with a savvy mind, a penchant for wearing brown, and a distaste for retirement. Four years ago, he uttered words that would change his life forever. I want to help. His offer, eagerly accepted. Perhaps a bit too eagerly. Tonight, he finds himself farther away from retirement and its woeful boredom than he ever possibly imagined. Tonight, he finds himself in the Permazone.
After working in operations and business development with the United Parcel Service for 36 years, Mark Vineski left the delivery giant for a life of retirement. With time to spare and a desire to give back to his country, Mark reached out to his local community of Cicero to see how he could contribute. The response was an invitation to run for town council. Two years later, he was asked to run for town supervisor. Excited by his new role, Mark was determined to transform the northern suburb of Syracuse. Drawing on his career proficiencies, he set out to run the town as a business, putting together long-term plans, assessing costs, and looking for ways to control spending. During his careful review, one number jumped out at him in particular. The town's 2015 workers' compensation costs were nearly $295,000. Our compensation costs were absolutely out the window. When I looked into what the cause was, I learned that we have very good people here in the town of Cicero. What we didn't have is we didn't have the expertise, the training, the culture of safety that I felt would help us control those costs. He knew he had to build a safety culture. His first step, contracting with safety manager Pat Salvador. Together, Mark and Pat developed a comprehensive program that included formal follow-up and continuous training. Looking out for the team was a message emphasized to create critical buy-in among the employees. With a finite number of people on his team, Mark stressed the need to count on each other to get the job done, pointing out that an absence due to injury affects everyone. The town runs a lean operation, and, and to have everyone uh, uh, working safe and being able to come to work each day is, is critical to the town being able to you know, provide the services they do to the, uh, uh, to the residents. We're not only looking at employee safety, but we're looking at what's safe for our residents to keep our insurance rates down and you know, for people to have a great experience being in the town and you know, wanting to come back day after day or, or to rent facilities. So we look at a lot of different aspects of safety. Mark also worked closely with the various interests in the town, including Teamsters and unions, to ensure they understood his positive, not punitive, intentions. It was essential to his safety program that every incident be treated as a learning opportunity, discussing things when they happen to deter them from happening again. Equally important, his team is provided with tools to be successful. One example is formal driver training for anyone who operates a piece of the town's equipment. By hiring a UPS driver trainer with whom he worked for 30 years, Mark ensures his team is as safe as possible when on the road, and in turn assures residents that anyone driving a Town of Cicero vehicle is an absolute professional. In addition to training, Cicero's safety program also includes monthly safety meetings. PCM or pre-work communication meetings are an opportunity for Mark to discuss important safety issues with department representatives. The topics, such as lifting and lowering, how to use an eyewash station or proper evacuation, are then shared with all of the employees on a regular basis to ensure safety is always top of mind. Mark believes open communication is also vitally important to his relationship with PERMA. Wanting to make his expectations immediately clear, Mark says he likely came off as a bull in a china shop in their first meeting. Happily, he describes the resulting partnership as supportive and proactive, with PERMA now looking to Cicero as a model for how other municipalities should approach a safety program. Now we have a different awareness. Uh, it's more visible. We have the bulletin board that constantly reminds us of safety. Our training, our supervisors are constantly aware of the message that, that we're sending. We have a sergeant that's a member of the safety committee, and he brings back the information. So it's an awareness level that's been really enhanced over the last couple of years. And boy, did his plans for Cicero work. Thanks to his comprehensive safety program, professional training, and buy-in from the entire team, the town's 2016 incurred losses were under $19,000, a remarkable improvement in one year. Mark plans to leave the town very financially sound, putting processes in place to make his successor's job much easier. For the time being, however, Mark says he's having more fun than he's ever had in his whole life. 
a strong business acumen, good working relationships, and a sound plan for his team's safety are just a few of the reasons why Town Comptroller Shirley Stewart nominated Mark Vineski to be this year's recipient of PERMA's Safety Person of the Year Award. Witness, if you will, Port Washington, New York. On the outside, a seemingly pleasant hamlet. Neighbors share pleasantries. Children frolic in the schoolyard. And visitors dot its bayside shores. But things are never really what they seem. Look closer, and you begin to notice something unusual. Something dark blue. A band of do-gooders that go by the simple name the fuzz. Where did they come from? What is their intent? We'll only find these answers in the perma zone. The Port Washington Police District has a very clear mission. To provide channels to promote and preserve public safety and to consistently find ways to ensure a safe and secure environment. It's a mission they uphold for their community and for their employees. An idyllic waterfront community, Port Washington is home to nearly 16,000 residents. While its marinas, beaches, and golf courses make it a picturesque place to live, it's a commitment to safety and wellness that make this corner of Long Island's North Shore a real PERMA winner. As the 2016 recipients of the Kenneth Herman Sr. Memorial Risk Management Award, the Port Washington Police District is a PERMA standout for improved workplace safety and wellness. Under the leadership of Chief James Salerno, this team of 60 full-time officers and civilians has a 95% completion rate of the PERMA Safety Institute. Every employee of the police district is required to complete seven online courses that are relevant to their workplace and responsibilities, with topics including back safety, workplace violence, sexual harassment prevention, ethics, bloodborne pathogens, slips, trips, and falls, and survival skills for law enforcement drivers. Each comprehensive course is a means for Port Washington's force to think and act safely. It's a commitment that reaches from the station right down to the village's busy streets. Port Washington's traffic control assistants have participated in PERMA's in-person refresher training course to keep their skills up while keeping them safe. And when extreme weather, like hurricanes or flooding, reaches their roadways, the Port Washington Police District is able to reach or evacuate their neighbors in need with their emergency military vehicles. They're high, they're high axle. They're gonna allow us to go through water, pick up people that are stranded where the flood waters have come up, keep them dry, get them out of harm's way. The police district also provides the community with numerous safety programs in critical areas, including Amber Alerts, burglary prevention, school safety, identity theft, and cybersecurity. An active PERMA member, the police district deserves accolades for its high engagement with PERMA communication. Employees open emails at a rate that is 280% higher than the average member, and they click through provided email links 95% more than the average member. Additionally, they pay close attention to important PERMA audit items, such as maintaining written safety policies, organizing safety committees, conducting hazard assessments, investigating and reviewing all incidents, maintaining and inspecting service vehicles, and conducting regular self-inspections of facilities and equipment. Chief Salerno describes his PERMA membership as a good working relationship with an exceptional service-oriented team that is helping him reach his goals. We want to keep our employees safe, and we want to have a safe workplace. And um, it's, it's, it's great for us that PERMA offers this because the training is very good, and the officers and the civilians can utilize it at their desktop. In fact, since joining PERMA over a year ago, Chief Salerno himself has participated in training at PERMA's 2016 Annual and Fall Education Conferences, and two other district representatives attended a regional training in March. It's leadership commitment like this 
coupled with utilization of PERMA's programs that exemplify why Port Washington Police District has received this year's Kenneth Herman Sr. Memorial Risk Management Award. There is a saying, safety is no accident. Nowhere is this more true than in the villages, towns, counties, and districts of tonight's six winners. Perhaps it's a passion for rules, or maybe an inherent need to be better than the rest. Either way, these award recipients have shown there is glory to be found when you stay alert and don't get hurt. In the PERMA Zone, 